Jonathan Peters here with Big Heads, Big Ideas. Now for the origins of that uh, title, uh, check out the first video in this series and where I explain it more there. But today, with this video, I actually want to look at big heads, specifically big brains, because science has shown that the bigger our brains, the more likely we are to play and the more complex our play will be, at least at the size compared to other animals. Because from dolphins to dogs, we all play, but the complexity of that play depends upon the size of our brains. Now, neuroscientists have hypothesized that the evolutionary root to our need to play is, is our desire, well, our need to interact with a more complex world, specifically the social dynamics that come from this, uh, this, dyna this complex world. So as our brains grow, so do our interactions with our environment. But scientists have also shown that play helps create new connections in our brains and in, in our between our neurons. So connections between our neurons and also connections between different parts of our brain. So through play, we get to test those new connections in an environment that is safe, that uh, we can be creative and we can test things. And so that's where the play comes in. So the scientists assume that what's happening is the play is stimulating the, the frontal cortex, so the front parts of our brains. And if that's true, then the need to play must be further back in our brains, so our hind brains. And so we can see that when we're studying uh, animals with smaller brains, like say rats and so on, there's some uh, very uh, terrible studies, <laughs> if you will, that are grisly studies about cutting little pieces of the brain of rats and then watching how they interact through play. So if play does all these wonderful things, and, and these rats have had to suffer for this, if play does all these wonderful things, what does it mean for us as designers of learning experiences for other people? I believe we have a, that science shows that we have a neurological imperative, <laughs> say things you know, in big words like that, uh, to allow our learners to play. We need to allow them to play during their learning experiences. So first of all, it makes the learning more fun, that's easy. But they're also encouraging creativity through play. Uh, we're building neuro, uh, neuro pathways inside their brains. We're literally making their brains bigger and we're helping them be able to cope in their complex lives or complex worlds. So I'd like to hear your ideas about uh, this idea of we, our brains, <laughs> get bigger through play. And so if you would like to interact with me in the comments below. Thank you.